Just trying to take a look here to see where we're at because we're waiting on two people right now. I'm not exactly sure who we're waiting on, what's going on, but... Yeah, let me take a quick look. Yeah, because I don't want to fart around with Discord too much. I want to make sure I keep my captures going. Yeah, well. yeah I can tell you. So it's we're waiting on just two players, yeah. Two players? Okay, now we're, we're just waiting on Manny, but Manny is kind of the race host, so he was probably waiting. Yeah, so, all right. Good, okay, we're, we're about to start. All right. Let's fucking go. I'm excited. I'm very yeah, excited for this race. The moment we've been waiting for. Yep. Damn. Two, there's gonna be one. way more participants than just these two but yeah there's quite a few there's at least one two three four five six seven people that are streaming their their race and there's six or seven more people yeah. that are running as well which is awesome yeah. love to see that <laughs> like I said, numbers. and we'd probably be doing it too if not for commentary of course i wouldn't be because i don't run this category nmg right i don't run this category you just do all bosses glitchless and smoke some people i mean I, still be nmg pretty much yeah <laughs> So I think uh, oh, our start is timer a little. Yeah, no, a little bit it's sooner. Bad. Yeah, Looked little like time could have been a factor started. too. Yeah. But uh, all right, so we got our effort. candy on the left side. We got B Dog on the right side. Both incredibly top tier runners. Um, yeah. Something to keep in mind as you guys are watching this is 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 like Maruf was just saying the uh, the timer's a little little fakakt between the two players. It's it's uh, about a two-second oh, difference. Oh, and, and B-Dog's stream is kind of experiencing some issues? Okay, it's back Yeah, it's now. a little hinky, but it's it's all right. It's okay. It'll get the job done. I mean, Ark is the one with 30 FPS, and B-Dog's with, uh, quote-unquote, 60 FPS. <laughs> so, 60 FPS in Nintendo terms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, well said. Kind of like uh, the Pokemon game or Both things like of that. They, both of these players really executing like crazy on Artaria one. Just oh, this is not the best a uh, pseudo. That pseudo, yeah, that's and that's rough. Well, cloak pseudo could make the difference. Oh, the first shot, and very quick. P dog's oh. already done with the cloak pseudo. We're still our candy. The second really, shot is there. We go. He got through. Wild, he got through. All right. He's three. not as far off as he might think he is. 30 Missile Corpius. Let's fucking oh, go. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. All right, B-Dog just dumping missiles into B -Dog the B-Dog is breaking the game. Unfortunately. You can only get a couple frames at a time with how fast he's firing. He got an unfortunate spacing on that attack, though. He ended up on the outside. That's always tough. So Wait, did he get head glitch? Oh my god, he's he, going to finish it in just yeah, phase two. That's going to be crazy. He's done. Oh, it looks like our candy's time save. not too close. Uh, yeah, Arca's going to oh, gonna have to go into phase three Oh, he's going to have to go into phase three. That's tough. That's going to be losing what, a little bit of time. Ten seconds or so, maybe. A yeah, little maybe. Uh, I'm going to say seven or eight. In this case, let's see. We are. Nope, it's going to look in like nine or ten. Oh, I just meant on that fight alone. No, yeah, between oh, when between when B Dog got to move after the Phantom Cloak dialogues, and between and R Candy being able to move after those dialogues, it was at least ten seconds. Hmm. It's tough. More atom rooms. Uploading but, data but team. Part of that difference is also the earlier uh, time loss. That's that true. The earlier time loss. That is very true. All right. Beatle getting through to the first ME section. Electing not to melee to get that little time save. Yeah, that melee, I did time it. It saves a very minuscule amount of time, a couple frames, but you may as yeah. well do it, right? Yeah, I mean, a couple frames are a couple frames for one button press, you know? Exactly. I mean, you do have to time it, but it's free. It's Because it, if you mess it up, you don't lose time. Yeah, exactly. This this under route for Spider Magnet Emmy here always throws me yeah. off. It freaks me <laughs> out, because I play glitchless, so he's active. Yeah, you're scared of the guy. It's I, scary, man, yeah. Uh, I've been all doing right. all bosses, so that makes me feel that way too now. Yeah. B-Dog executing really well on the underwater section, missing the ledge hop, though. Yeah, we we'll little catch try. The ledge Let's see how water ass goes. Tough. Not first try. Let's see. Second, Second try. try. Very nice. Good. Let's see how it works. You only lose this. three seconds to fill in once. Yeah, which is great. That's that's not much, considering the, the overall time save is really high. Let's see how yeah. Arc does on water ass. Ooh. Water Artaria section skip. Ooh, having the unfortunate uh, Aeon recharge problem there. There we go. Okay, third attempt. Third try. Not too it's bad. Definitely acceptable. Water skip. B dog struggling with right now a little bit. Third attempt. Third I think? try. Third try. Yeah. Not too bad. And the bad. first one was pretty quick. Ooh, that was tough. Our Ooh, meleeing onto that platform there. Uh, Let's see how water skip goes for him. B dog's about to it, hit charge. This B. is his trick, not to put him on blast, and he gets third a first try. try. The father of the trick. That's it, man. 
Oh, it's too easy. That's great, though. It's going to make up a little bit of time for him. Definitely. I think it's probably closing by four seconds there. Yeah. That's how, how much P-Dog probably lost. Unfortunate to catch the ledge there. Yeah. I, Tiny you things. know, it, it happens a lot. <laughs> and you, it, it, it takes a while to re- Oh my god, the melee off that top platform? I'd never considered that to auto-aim the yeah. friggin' missiles? That's great. What a little optimization. Uh, yeah, that one saves, I think, three frames if you do it well, which is so small, but... I yeah, but, well. you know, it's probably one of those things that, like, feels really strong. Ooh, that was tough. It took the hit. <laughs> it does. Oh. Well, if this was Dread Mode, then... <laughs> go back to the tunnel screen. This would be a very different game. Be a yeah. very different run we'd be commentating right now. Very, very different. All right, so this is the route. This is the part of the route I'm a little shaky on. So what happens next? Which way do they go? They're gonna go hit the thermal button now, and then go to Spider Emmy. Oh, okay. They go hit the thermal button. Is this this is where they break the both bubbles from underneath, right? Yeah. Yeah. Break um, one, break two, and then go up and around to hit the thermal button. That's right. That's right. Yep. Exactly. So no Jaff room. It's you not know, even on the radar. It's great because like right after Corpius, you know you have to execute that boss fight really well and then you move directly into like three minutes of just really intense just needing to be really clean movement and yeah it's true these, our car is, takes a lot of focus it really does these runners make it look like insanely easy but getting this movement clean takes a lot of time a lot of a lot of effort to really learn this stuff i recently mm -hmm. finally incorp started incorporating uh just fall off um spin jumps to like go around like yeah, if you're, if you're running yeah it, like spin falls if you're running right and you need to go left underneath the ledge you just spin fall mm -hmm. i didn't realize how much time that saves and how easy it yeah. is i was uh, it, it's huge when it skips platforms then it saves like whole seconds sometimes yeah once you start nailing all the weaves and stuff it's crazy exactly it's yeah. so crazy the amount of time it <laughs> saves just yeah. from falling fast <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not that you fall faster, but it's just that you uh, your momentum's in a different direction, so you land in a better spot. Right, and, and you reach yeah, your turbo really velocity up. faster, right? Is that part of it? Like, you reach your, mm, your fastest I don't really speed. know. Um, to my knowledge, fall speed has a cap, just like in real life. Um, mm -hmm. And the fastest way to hit the... the Ooh, that was is a really by, nice by magus. Spinning. Yeah, is, it, it well, feels like that sometimes, fall. but uh, I'm just, I'm really not sure. I'd have to frame by frame it. Yeah, it could be wrong. I don't know. Oh, more, you know, said so. morph ball. Yeah, morph ball is the fastest as far as so I'm morph ball. Right. It's it's not that it reaches terminal faster. It actually just falls faster. It has a better terminal. Oh, so, interesting. So if you morph and then you unmorph, you'll actually reduce your speed. That makes sense. And Both players having a great central unit here. Great dodges. Yeah, very clean. Th that was really good for Mark. He got the missiles in. He's mixing those in. Oh, and these players, they're at liberty to throw out missiles. Uh, that's a good point. On the on rookie mode for that fight, you can use missiles on the brain and the shell. Yeah. You just never have to stop drilling missiles. And honestly, that's one of the things that I do in, in Glitchless is um, yeah, you, I try you to... break because, the Rinkas, right? Yeah, so because you can get missiles. I run turbo as well, so like I can missile weave on the brain really, really easily. Um, right. So yeah, and, that, and that's going to give you really fast fights. Arc having a really tough spider Emmy right now. Didn't quite get the angle right away. Had to dodge it a little bit, but still yeah, not. At least he's killing him somewhat to the left. So like his yes. next split is going to get some free time save. Exactly. So whatever time he lost having to dodge it, he's already progressed that movement. He's going to be able to start that much closer once the cutscene's over, which is great. Yep. So I would say he's probably lost the three seconds. Could be more or less. You know. Yeah, it seems like seems accurate. I always trip up right here where B Dog is. I always miss that platform and fall underneath. <laughs> I don't know how the hell yeah. I do it. Well, well, what sucks about that is the loading zone is variable in the time it yep. takes. Yep. So I've... your timing is the. Uh, that's why I just wait when I yeah, step out. Yeah, I've actually room. started doing that. I've started just <laughs> waiting for it to load, and as soon as I just react to the load, and then I'm like, exactly. okay, I'm good. Yeah. Arc's I mean, it's a couple frames, right? Oh, that was here. really clean from Arc. Oh, Absolutely destroying that section. And I saw B-Dog catch a ledge over there, so like he, he gained a little bit of time there. Let's see how the D-Boost goes for B-Dog. D-Boost should be weirdly I think these finicky. players will both get it. I think so, too. Oh, Ooh, my God, I'm a shit. liar. Commentators this is gonna, curse, my holy man. Holy shit, this is going to be a big catch-up. This up. is a huge catch-up. If, if our Candy can uh, Dude, it land, is commentators curse. Can he, if he can land this D-boost, he's caught up. He is caught up I don't have a bet on Ark or anything, so why would I Oh, curse? he's done it! 
he closed such a massive gap there. That's huge. Wow. That is huge between these runners. That's great. I don't Holy think Ark shit. realizes that how much closer he just got. I mean, he probably the, assumed that B Dog got the boost. Probably, yeah. That would be my assumption. And you know what I would do though? What I would do is. And he golded this, that? Let's fucking go. That's, that's great, man. By how much is that? Fifteen? Or no, that's the that's the overall. Never mind. I don't see this one. Yeah. But what I would be doing is I'd be looking at the stream right now during these load screens. And I, I'd be going, <laughs> oh, that's what I would be doing. I'd be going, who? Yeah. It was like, is he ahead of me? Is he ahead of me? <laughs> Fuck, he's ahead of me. And then I would load in just like that and be like, holy shit, that's a lot of, that's that's close. Yeah, that's pretty damn close. I these mean, players are super close right now. Art did start his game a little sooner, so it's the gap's a little yeah, wider the, than it looks. The gap is a little wider than it looks, but it, it's, but still, a it's still a huge time save. Yeah. That was great. Arc on a little bit low energy right now. I didn't happen to see B Dog. Yeah, did he low. skip the R the E tank? I, I'm not sure about that. I didn't see whether or not he skipped the tank. Um, I just noticed Other that these he's... players. I think these are like basically the only two players who skip that tank yeah. and finish runs. I've considered okay. skipping it, but eh. yeah, I think they both <laughs> skipped it actually. I am not going to skip that anytime. So I I probably never skip it. it I, I really don't think it's worth it. I actually did skip it one time, but I don't think I would do it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, especially in rookie mode you know the energy pickups are worth more so it's it's pretty yeah that is true it that, that's, makes that's it a little true. easier because you're just incidental kills on these uh on these flying dudes the the those guys you know it, it ends up saving you a lot yeah these small energies are giving a lot more Art health. got the d boost nice oh damn the super boost yeah is that's that what really it's called super boost? boost yep the super like d it. boost named like after it. super main Nice. It's it's a fairly easy D boost in my opinion. I, I learned it the other day and it's yeah. mostly consistent. Both opting it's, for the hell run on one E tank. This is Oh my god, this is gonna be really scary. To me. It's you don't know what can happen here. They both Ooh. made it through. Damn, that's, that's insane. Clutch. Dude, I, I, I see oh. people lose runs there, even with one tank especially. I yeah. saw D Dog lose a run in uh, Dread Mode today to that. Arc electing to shoot the. I think they both shot it actually. The, uh, the little yeah, you get, you get some free help and stuff. Well, in, in rookie mode, it's a full refill. Yeah, that's true. Because of how many missile and health pickups come out. Yep. Both having super clean movement up that shaft, hitting the third. I mean, it, I think it's a full refill either way. Cause yeah, they don't at, at this point tank. in the game, it's going to be. Yeah, that's true. Whatever you're short on, you'll be full on. Yep. Ooh, oh, B-Dog kind of cut off the ledge, which messes up this Emmy. Okay, nice. Art got a nice weave there. They both had a rough, scary pattern. Oh, he's going for the Hell Pseudo. Holy shit, going oh. for the Hell Pseudo. One, try, One attempt that's only, it. that's it. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't waste any more time to that either, especially if I'm up, up nah. against uh, one of the best players in the world. I'm, I'm not fucking with that more than once. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> not a chance. Just real quick to talk about their PBs. Ark has 118.17, and B-Dog's PB is uh, 117.37. So they're only 40 seconds apart. Wow. And, you know, I think with enough uh, runs, Ark could beat that 117.37. Like, I think so. I have so. no question about it. He's had I a good, so. He had a 117 pace earlier. Yeah. He's, oh, he missed the charge door. That's tough. Missing that charge shot is rough. It just, it just wastes... All that time waiting for that yeah. door to just... Bleh. I think it's going to be uh, probably like close to two seconds lost here. That's tough. I hate to see. Oh, it. but he's holding the charge already. Nice. Yeah, that's good. That's Makes good. it a little, little better or closer to one second. I can never nice handle weave. this weave. I don't understand how these top runners do this weave. I'm just so bad <laughs> at it. Our yeah, that one's there too. pretty That's hard. tough. So that gap right there, um, before this slide section, you can actually slide melee across that gap, catch the ledge, and do a buffered ledge hop. I learned that the other day. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't, I don't know, know if it's faster. faster or not, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And All I doubt right. it's slower. Are we going think. for this boost too? B dog's going, going for, for it. Let's go. Nice. Oh, he landed oh, God, it. He's he's insane. About well, Ark did come up with the strat, and he's getting him nice. Some they health. both landed it. I can't figure that one out. I've been having some trouble with it. Yeah, that one's... Uh, it seems a lot losing. tighter than it probably looks. No, I think it is actually somewhat hard. Yeah. That's probably the, the hardest D-boost we have. <laughs> but they make it look so easy. Yeah, you have to do so many little things. Like, uh, as they enter the room, they're aiming downwards to manipulate the camera so that it manipulates the enemies. Oh. Behavior. Like, 
little things like that. That's the part I'm missing. I've I've never tried it aiming downward. I didn't realize that that I didn't realize that those enemies were that um, affected by your movement and the camera and the environment and everything. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. That's, this is why I don't route things because I would never find that shit on my own. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Wow. That's some interesting lag going on that. from uh, P Dog's stream. B Dog, fix your freaking stream. Come on now. Got the pseudo first shot. Very nice, B Dog. Ark and use turbo? No. Neither of these players are using turbo. Yeah, neither but Ark has insane mash. I mean, so does B Dog. They both have ridiculous godly mash. Like, you, you would think that they're using turbo, but they're not. <laughs> yeah, they're Ark, not. They're not, yeah. Ark does, uh, I mean, they both do double thumb mash. Yep. So in some scenarios, did they do single thumb. There we go, the thumbs. <laughs> That's what Ark's thumb looks like. Yeah, it's pretty mash. Lava cutscene dot jar is finally done. We can get <laughs> back to your regularly scheduled race. What's the jar fall like? Some Java thing? I don't know. I just people say it and I repeat it. That's the end. <laughs> there we go. That's what we call a meme. A I don't. Like you know, I don't remember what a jar. I used to know. Ooh, our oh, candy missing the tower that. climb. That's uh, probably costing three. You know, and with the melee. It's an auto timed thing, so I'm I'm really surprised yeah. to not Oh, B Dog fighting this little uh mag cargo on the wall here. <laughs> really Coming getting out with into that it official, with them. Oh those official Nintendo sanctioned names. That's it. That's why we're just hitting them with the with the mag cargo. We're gonna have um uh let's see, we'll call it I'm gonna call it um uh, uh what the hell's it called? Wingull. Wingull instead of Jerry. This <laughs> Wingull in, uh, in Dyron, yeah. Wingull sounds like a Zelda term. You oh, know, it kind of cool. does. I, I could see that. I could see that for sure. Okay, it's not Jerry anymore. That's sad. It's now Wingle. No, it's only <laughs> Wingle in my stream, that's all. Oh, okay. I'll call it Jerry. I didn't know it was Jerry until now. I think uh, Manny named it Jerry. <laughs> Everyone deserves a name. You know, right. I never see players... There we go. Ark did it. Ark did what I do. He does the big jump off of the ledge hop to auto-aim the tentacle guy up to the top so he can just shoot the other one. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I don't consider that. That's but it does lose your frames, I think. How can it possibly lose your frames? The other strat is to jump over it as it comes at no, you. No, you can let too, him right? hit you, and then you just fall off the ledge. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I think that's fastest. Huh. I didn't know that. But, but it's within frames, so I'm, I would have to time it. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I don't, I don't know the exact optimizations for stuff. I just do the thing that is the most comfortable for me. That's consistent. It's really for me. Yeah. It's about consistency. And yeah, totally. But I, I guess say, you can here. always get consistent at the fastest thing if you put in the effort. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think most people really know. Like the community doesn't know which tiny thing is faster because yeah. we don't have Ooh, tassers. We oh, went for the uh, the Dyron cloak ass tech. The die, the dyras, dyras boost, dyras skip. Go. I don't a, know. A dire ass. Dire yeah. ass. That's it. This was the first weave that I learned how to do. Nice. Because this that's, one is really fun. I, for some reason, it was stuck in my brain that I needed to hold the direction that I was spinning in. Mm, no, time. yeah. Coming up on the dark section. This is an interesting bit of platforming where you really have to do just a ton of buffered ledge hops to get through here quickly. Yeah, and, and, and you on can the two tile doing... walls, you can't buffer because you'll buffer a wall jump and stuff. Right, and B Dog just did exactly that. You know, yeah. it's 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 really tough to 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 manage those two different things. Yeah, absolutely. And see, I didn't even know that that was specifically a two tile wall problem. Yep, if it's if it's anything more than one tile, then it will buffer a wall jump instead. That's interesting. So like right here, th this here, you have to wait a little to grab the yeah. ledge. Both players getting perfect. Ooh, Jerry issues. Wingle issues. <laughs> oh, oh, that's Jerry. I see, I see. Yeah, well, the, the first one is Jerry, and the second one is also Jerry. Damn. Yeah. It must and be like Japanese going by their last name or something. It's gotta be. I'm not sure I didn't coin it, so... Manny, we, we need you. We need Time input. Week. He's busy racing. I our candy going for the slide method to take out the turret there. I really like that. Yeah. It just makes it really consistent, just dumping three missiles into that guy, plus a charge shot. Yep. I think two does it, but three just makes it a little more consistent. Yeah. In case you miss one of your charge hits. Let's see. The wide beam block that is the forever troll. B-Dog gets through. Arc gets through. Very nice. 
Oh, Ooh, my. Ark Some doing monster. the classic Ed move, bopping his head on the ceiling a couple of times. Bop twisted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Playing bop it up in this piece. Let's go. All right. But, yeah, they're they're keeping so close, man. They're very, very close to each other. Like three second gap right now. Yeah. Uh, maybe, yep, yeah, around there. Roughly. Three, four, five, something in that area. Definitely not five, but quite yeah. a bit. Quite a bit of time has been made up for, and that's even accounting for the difference, like, with Arcs running, Arcs run starting a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. um, the difference is still just so, so minuscule. Both runners on a great pace. Neither one of them making any real major problems happen, you know, not really missing any major stuff, which is great. Yeah, it's which a bunch is, of small things, and you know, Corp is the we reset both point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got to avoid that, and they're gonna have. Uh, I, I'm curious if they're gonna get that ten pack uh, before Varia. You know, I they literally, just I just had the same thought. I was like, I don't think either of these runners are gonna pick up another missile the entire run if they can help <laughs> it. Yeah. Because I don't know why you would. I mean, actually, what what you could do is get that ten pack and then skip the one um, by gravity when you're on your way. Yeah. Yep. And uh, it's just nice to have the extra missiles for crate. I think it's worth it. I think, you know, I can get behind that, especially because you already start with 30, right? And I'm, I'm happy if I'm at Kraid with 30 missiles. I'm a happy guy, you yeah. know? And having 40... Ooh, oh my going god, he for goes the for the new insane strat, The insane on, on Morph Emmy strat. Is it happening? It saves one second if done really well. Oh, I'm just right. going to He's nailing it. Go. That's Damn, crazy. I've never tried it. I, I quite frankly, my stones aren't that big. Uh, I have no interest in that strat. Not nah, at all. yeah, I'm good. Hard pass for me. But you know what? A second <laughs> is a second. Yeah. And did and he get the full second? I don't know, but I'm sure he got a little bit of time safe there. You know what? Somebody with more wherewithal than us can retime it. Yeah. I well, just got need some time, you know. Yeah. Time to time it. Time to time it. True. All right. So, where are we headed after Morph Ball? We're headed to. Baria? Baria. Right? Yep. Okay. Going left here. Gonna skip these missiles, of course. We you would do that it. anyway. And uh, this, yeah, this 10 pack here, who cares? Sometimes you accidentally grab those missiles, though. Yeah. I've been electing to stay in Morph Ball. Like, I, I do the little hop in the tunnel there to make sure I stay in Morph Ball so I can reliably jump over it without screwing up my junk park. Hmm. Nice, speed dog going for okay. the missiles. Ooh, nice. Ark missing that first jump in there. That's such a weird gap. Okay, I, I to hit. the decision. I, I agree. Yeah, that one well. that one's really weird. It's weird because it's a two point five D game. If it were a true two dimensional game, mm -hmm. it no, would be it's, as hard. It's not really about the perspective. It's it's the mechanics of like one tile with things. Because mm, uh, that's for, true. for instance, it's a weird thing that I discovered. Like, if you spin jump into a gap like that, you'll start to ride it up as long as you hold forward. Yeah. If you start to hold back, then you completely lose all all your vertical momentum. I don't know why. So you have to do, you have to just follow some weird rules to, to get up there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And in that kind of spot, you know, you're moving to the left, but you want to move right after you jump. Exactly, so that's, yeah. That's, that's, why, what, that's why it's always an issue. And, and the trouble I have with it personally is that I always try to line up with like a bit of geography um somewhere and i was trying to oh, line using up like that a visual cue on the ground or something yeah and i was trying to use the stripe on the ground but as you move through the room the perspective on the stripe changes a little bit so it's mm. very hard oh, to yeah. line up that way just shift a tiny bit yeah it kind of pans a little bit Dang. okay By the way, these the players charge, both right? had a really good section right after the teleporter did yeah. two little morph boosts yeah i didn't even mention it because it was just like ah uh, yes everyone should know that these two runners are going to get that little morph boost <laughs> like it just feels that way yeah all right let's see b dog missing the the uh morph into the tube which is you know it's it's actually pretty tough to hit because of the way the timing works out for mantling that ledge and everything yeah not getting the smooth run out of that tube either we'll see if arc gets it it's a very small clean. optimization, Ooh. but Arc getting the smooth run out of the tube. It probably saves a couple of frames at best, but, you know, it's it feels really nice yeah. to get it. I think uh, they save, like, point uh, a third to a half of a second, yeah. which is actually pretty substantial. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's a decent time save for sure. Yeah. This is a weird room to navigate and optimize to try to get that charge shot as quickly as possible because you have to exactly. shoot the floor. Exactly. That, that's what it's, it comes down to. 
It doesn't feel good as a room. Yeah. The following it rooms, It always though, feels a little slow, I guess. These feel great when you're going down the morph ball tube, you melee off the ledge, you do the spin fall, you do another morph. It just, you know, it feels nice. Yeah. Except the end part right here. Trying to do a coyote, like, yeah. between that those two rooms is kind of a pain because the load screen. <laughs> the load screen is a pain. If if the loads were a little smoother in this game, yeah, it would be... be consistent a lot better but you know it's nintendo hardware and we're we're yeah it's an android device like <laughs> this is oh, just it is. Yeah, it's just what happens you know it loads yeah, I mean, this is loads basically games a like your phone does like 3ds right so yeah. i mean blue stacks would run it better you know running off a pc <laughs> mm. yeah we should all switch to emulator i think no <laughs> <laughs> well, no don't do that because that? then tricks stop working and and some start working yeah. some start working yeah, yeah. This little bit of uh, the game is a little tough to optimize as well. You know, you, there's these frame perfect slides that you can do when you take the damage from these guys that you deboost through. But oh, is it frame perfect? As far as I'm aware, it's frame perfect. It has to be the same frame that you come into contact with them. And um, what does that do? It makes you go a little further. Or? It negates the um, pushback. The pushback from the hit uh, that oh, you take. Yeah. B Dog missing the melee off the ledge there. That was interesting. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I wish I saw shots Japanese players do that strat. That's where I learned it as well, actually. I saw um I saw yeah. a Japanese I think it was um Masashi um mm. do that, and I was like, I'm never doing that room differently ever again. Yeah, that's um, a great way to do it. So we have forty four missile crate here. Yeah, B Dog really got great RNG going for the morph climb on the wall here. Yeah, crate is just gonna it. be toast First try. in like ten seconds here. I know. <laughs> Mark getting tough RNG, but he knocks him in the is face. Is this gonna be too. the world record for crate already? <laughs> oh Ooh. but he got the savior platforms. Alright, all right. he got the savior platforms. That's really great. Thank you for following the channel there. Thanks, Mercury Steam. Thank you very much. Okay, right. Bidon's already out of there. He's probably going to gold the split, even though these are not his normal splits. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Oh. Being able he to kind just... Of split that's, uh... Oh, man. Both it's having a late. fairly clean Kraid fight. A little, uh... A little tough RNG on Ark's side, which is always... You know, it's kind of expected with Kraid, you know? Yeah. Ark has a 252 here. Bidon's looks like a 242, but... There's no way that's possible, right? I don't or 243. Know. If he got a 243, that's insane. That's really, actually, truly nutty. <laughs> I think that would probably be a community gold. Probably. Or at least damn near close to it. It's, you know, having Definitely. 45 fucking missiles on crate. that's just silly. It puts a tear to your eye. It, it's so wonderful. It, but it's a happy tear, you know? You, yeah, love, exactly, you love to see crate exactly. just eat missiles for days. Oh yeah, the guy deserves it. You know, he... He's, he's freaking chained up. That's an eyesore, man. You're, <laughs> you're ruining the, the beauty of Planet ZDR. Ruining the ZDR aesthetic. Oh yeah, we're art students now, the aesthetic. Yeah, exactly. And hipsters. Oh yeah, I mean, we're a speedrun, and what could be more hipster than that? Right? Neither Let's see, player. we'll... Collecting early more grapple kill. Out of there. No. Early oh, yeah, I, I noticed that, too. That's Neither definitely one. a time saver. Yeah. It is, yeah. You know, Ark stuck on the ledge, opting to Arc go with it. Like, Metal Gear Solid mode. That's it. A nice angle from the wall. Yeah, it was great. It was stylish, man. Very clean early grapple coyote jumps from both players, unsurprisingly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our cool 21 says good work commentators the maroof guy doesn't know that much though <laughs> i'm assuming this is a friend of yours yeah. <laughs> don't listen to our cool he's a loser <laughs> guy only has a 123 what a chump wow what a nerd <laughs> better than my infinity infinity what's infinity infinity uh, i've never run the category so null, <laughs> null oh null. yeah <laughs> infinite time I still Double haven't null. completed it no you have nmg but you just call it all bosses glitchless <laughs> yeah still exactly NMG. You didn't do any major glitches. That's true, I didn't. Very nice grapple room. Let's see. Let's see what the return looks like. Because, you know, the, the return from grapple is deceptively simple. You know, you get to yeah. do a nice weave well, on the way down, but then you come yeah. back up and you've got to contest with these big stupid slugs. 
You know, yeah. it, it's one of those rooms. I, um, I I hesitate to say it, but it's like the beginning of Dark Souls, oh, where no. I know, I know, I, I don't even want to say it. But but in all seriousness, oh, not God. even necessarily speedrunning, but like, you know, those first couple of enemies in Dark Souls. If once you can you give me a stream key, I need to ban some people. <laughs> oh no. Please, please. The sooner oh, the like better. You're getting banned as well. No. <laughs> Maroof is full of shit. Whoa, whoa. No commentator Dude. slander, okay? All right. But they put Kappa, so it's okay. They can, no, they can curse no. my mother with a Kappa. No. It's okay. No, not allowed. Illegal. But it's people think they are. But it's that thing, you know, where where you've you've killed these enemies a thousand times, you've gone through this place a thousand times, but the one second you start to underestimate it, you're just about to get bopped. That's just what happens, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very Dark Souls, and then you lose all your souls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that room, I think it's not really slept on. It is hard doing the grapple cancels and everything. To yeah. Conquer. Like, do not sleep on it. Very clean, small optimizations on the return. From yep. Grapple for B Dog. Very good. No segment. surprises I, uh, there. I learned uh, two new optimizations for this part, so. Very uh, nice from Arc Candy as well. Which ones did you learn? Uh, right there, which what Arc did. You don't have to climb into the hole. You can do actually a morph. You yeah, you can do a morph, morph. yep. Um, as, there was another jump morph too. Okay, he got the bad enemy, but uh, it's not too Slide difficult to beat cloak. this with the grapple. Nice. You have to be uh, ready he didn't for even it. Need to, he didn't even need the cloak there. Yeah, you, you do. You have to be paying attention, watching the map. But even if he didn't cloak, he would have made it through. So Interesting that B-Dog chose to ledge hop there instead of just do the full jump into the uh, other platform. That's a thing that you can do. Mm, I missed it, but... So our candy's Let's coming up to does. it. Yeah, it's um, it's the third jump in the next room. Oh, I missed oh, the coyote. Missing the coyote. So it's not this jump, but it's from here to here. You can do one full jump and just do a second ledge hop. Yeah, you go ledge to ledge. Yeah, ledge to ledge. Yeah. Yeah, actually, Ark came up with that, as far as I saw. Well, I mean, of course, maybe other players did too, but Ark and Sonic, they both kind of devised that together. Interesting that Ark went for a Coyote onto the corner instead of using the grapple beam there. I actually kind of like that, because it kind of auto-times the corner. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I like the grapple better, just because it's faster. You just move See, faster. See, absolutely. But it's, hard. it's, it's tricky. Yeah. And Consistency it's, is important. Exactly. Consistency is really important. And for anybody using a turbo controller, you know how hard it is to get those grapple angles because oh, the, that's a good the control point. sticks I mean, it's are not, awful. It's not cardinal, so it should be a little better. But still, but it's it's an acute it's angle. It's like an acute angle from a right. Like it's it's real. It's a one of those angles with the tiny adjustments. Make it, they're just really tough. They're really mm -hmm. really tough. Yeah, and there's all kinds of turbo controllers. Some sticks are worse than others. Yeah, exactly. My horror is okay if I'm not at the Cardinals, but uh, yeah, if, I, if it is a Cardinal, it's not a it's a Cardinal sin, is what it is. <laughs> not a ton. Cardinal only. You know, not a lot of players I see um, elect to slide through that gap that B Dog just went through early to get the morph into the. It kind of yeah, that, that little morph boost. The little morph boost, yeah, kind of just kicks you out of the tunnel, you know. And I, I yeah. Uh, I'm surprised to not see it more often in. in I, I agree. I only very recently runs. started doing it. There because, we uh, Ark did it. I see. Yeah, I like yeah, it. he got it. He uh, Sonic called me. me out. Yeah, clearly th this is the cage match. You're supposed to mute me, guys. Jeez. <laughs> Common sense. Come on. Come on now. Absolutely Common courtesy. If anything. Yeah. Right. Jeez. Ooh, opting for the the cloak uh, tram tech. I really like that. Oh, um, I, oh, oh, I see it. Yeah, the cloak <laughs> I, was, tram I was like, what, what exactly are we talking about here? <laughs> I made it up. It's fine. <laughs> Advanced and technique. Thank oh, you, Arkul, for Come saying on. we're doing great. I do appreciate that. We're, uh, we're trying to, we're doing what we can, you know? Yeah. Our Ross uh, is great. Be done when he, already. when he says something nice, I'll say it back. But All it's right. It's conditional love. Basically. That's a conditional. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Perennial nice, uh, one like is what, always an interesting just, yeah, I do as well. I love the slide cloak there to dodge the laser. I just started incorporating that as well. I saw one of the play I saw another runner do it, and I was like, "Oh, nice." Yeah, that comes. I saw Bonnie do it, and I assume it's just generally a Japanese strat. Yeah, they do a lot of little things. Like when I was verifying Japanese runs, like I'm like, "Yeah, there's just all these things that I never thought." Oh, to that do. was interesting. Yeah, the tickle, the tickle, the tickle. I love the tickle. That's so good. <laughs> You just yeah, touch him with that, your grapple beam, and he's like, oh, and then he doesn't laser you, and it's great. 
Yeah. I mean, you, you provided him a service. You, know, <laughs> you provided crazy. him a service. He is compensating <laughs> you for that service. Yes. Yeah, exactly. by not killing you. You know, it's, it's nice of him. Really nice. Not losing you time. Ooh, B-Dog going for the melee off the ledge. Just barely missing it there. Yep. I saw that in uh, Sam's room that I going watched. going at a solid two frames per second. You love to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it, he's, he's hiding his secret movement tech. Yep, this is this is what drops. you call splicing. Going for the IBJ. Uh, Did we get it? First flash. try? Nice. First try. And the door is not hit. Very nice. Awesome. Let's see I if Arc can do it, it too. I think he can. I don't know if he's going to go for it. Is, is the oh, real no, thing. he'll definitely go for it. Yeah, he, he will. He always goes for it. Yep. Oh, okay, fair enough. This feels really eight seconds. You can't give it up. It is really eight seconds, huh? Yeah. What is it if you hit it second try? First it... try. Nice. Uh, doing the method these, that these two players are doing, which I originally saw Bonnie do, uh, if you get it basically third try, you will be time neutral. Second really? try, you'll probably save. The second try would be four seconds. But it obviously depends on how you lose it. Like, if you lose yeah, it on the yeah, last bomb, but uh, on average, I think, yes. So, so on average, I think third is good. All right, we going for the pseudos here? B-Dog's going for the pseudos? B-Dog's going for the pseudos. Cannot no, tell yes. whether or not they're hitting, because, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Got him, though. Very nice. Yeah. What was it? Uh, did he get four out of four? Dodge. I wasn't. I did not see. Uh, arcs two well, for two right now. Yep. Oh, that's great. Th these pseudos save only two seconds if you do them well. Uh, just about. And it depends if wow. you. I mean, obviously, if your pauses were, like, instant, then it well, would be Well, did you just see seconds. arcs? They were. He, that was really good, yeah. Four I think for he saved four the full, those last full two were, seconds there. Yeah, they were so fast. Very clean stuff. Absolutely. Super, super clean. Also, Fallen uh, has got no, several nice 126, 120s lately. That Those are on uh, Ravenbeak, Ravenbeak RTAs. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah, Fallen was saying that the new patch, or at least rookie mode, might make beak or missiles fire a little faster. Really? We'd, would love to test that. That's but it would interesting. Be, it would be a minute difference, I think. Yeah. Because I, I went ahead and investigated his footage and looked very minute of him. Anyway, let's see. B-Dog did the triple flash. Will he get the now, enemy to the right side? Nope. Now, Got my question enemy. is, since you seem to know a lot about the, like, specific timings of some of this stuff, like, at least better than I do, in terms of underwater movement, I was under the impression that the fastest movement was jumping in morph ball form. Is that not correct? Uh, whether it's in morph or not seems to be about the same based on the comparison Bonnie did. Okay. Oh, wow. Great adaptation. Great adaptation. Yep. Oh, well. Wow. That was almost he, he comes prepared with these things. You know, Aren't you enough. love to see it, though. You love to see the preparedness and the adaptation on the fly because a lesser runner would have died there. Oh, yeah. I, I would have died, died there. there. <laughs> 100%. That's, yeah. That Emmy, I don't mess with him. I only do no. two flash shifts coming into the room to guarantee that he gives me an easy pattern. Yeah, you can't you can't play games with speed Emmy. Like, you know, and that's another that's another thing is is being able to adapt to speed Emmy is 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 crazy. It's just you know if you don't know what you're looking for, if you're a new runner, don't let yeah. speed Emmy discourage you because speed oh, Emmy speed Emmy is he's on crack, man. I'm, oh, I mean, boy, he's we've got on what 13 the viewers. Speed. I can say that, right? Yeah. Oh, you say whatever the yeah. hell you want. Literal speed. This, Literal this is a methamphetamine speed. abuser. Literal meth abuser. We should make a whole copy pasta. There's a one copy pasta about uh, unnamed dread or unnamed SM player does meth. We should just replace it with speed Emmy. We should replace it with speed Emmy. <laughs> we should um, splice in speed Emmy as a background character in Breaking Bad. Um, <laughs> oh my you God. know, it, it just fits really well. Dude, imagine him in a suit. Uh, oh, damn. He'd be so dapper. He would be very dapper. B Dog getting the nice continuation on that speed keep there. Absolutely crushing yep, and it gonna get the tank of going course the even tank. though it's rookie mode but I, I still think you do want two tanks at least i think two tanks is just gonna make you be able to to do whatever you want in terms yeah, of it, you know tanking damage and stuff both players yeah, opting exactly. to skip out on the missile tanks i really don't think they're uh taking yeah th th those tanks. are slow missiles compared yeah. to the, the two that you get in Berenia. that's those, very those true slow. that's very true um, and, and they could get both of those but i think they'll only get one to be honest yeah Ark also got the speed link there, by the way. I don't want to over. Nice. And he did his own special little flash shift strat. I that thing it. is fast as hell. Yeah. Saves about half a second from the usual strat. Yeah. It's, like, it's a hell of a lot harder, I'll tell you that, until you practice like Ark does. Yeah. Both players nailing that uh, the, the grapple shot out of the speed keep, which is 
Yeah, it, it's actually kind Just of like that. well, on a turbo controller, I'm I'm sure the angle is really tricky. <laughs> Honestly, it is on a pro controller. It was easy as shit. Yeah. I nailed it every single time. <laughs> well, I didn't even have to think about it. But on the turbo, it's just like ah, what do I do? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your stick is just not going to reflect. Your, your in-game stick is not just not going to reflect your out-of-game stick, right? You move it, and then yeah. nothing happens. I that's experience it with the Hori. That's the trouble. I don't think B-Dog got the um, the Shine Spark there. Um, I don't know if he was necessarily going for it. See, it, I, I assume it did, but it doesn't lose too much time to miss it. No, it doesn't. Let's okay, see but Ark will go for, for it. it. And this robot is, is, is fair. He, he did... It wasn't too bad. Very Arc nice. Got Arc got it. That's did, great. Did the full thing. Did the, the full, whole uh, thing. Gonna go for okay, the Okay, he got the strat. bolt pattern. This is good. Nice. Instant this spark. Is great. Uh, did not get the enemy to the wall, which kind of sucks. Oh, Ooh, that's, just that's kind of brutal. Barely missed. It. I would probably go on the ledge here. No, nah, I would take the hit. Much. I would do what he did and get the instant spark for the kill. Yeah, that's exactly what I would have done to adapt mm -hmm. there. Especially because he didn't immediately like retreat to the right side of the room. He was able to actually adapt and, and draw him over to the left, which is nice. It, yeah, if the enemy's on the right side, you're going to try and damage boost off of him into the wall. Uh, if he's in the center, yeah, I guess you could do that. But it's it's RNG because he might yeah. not come towards you, basically. That's why yeah, it's, it's true. what he did is faster if you get the correct RNG. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah, it's That's time. That's You gotta... You gotta I mean, Dread is like a game of poker sometimes. You it gotta, is. like, put money in the pot. Let's see what happens. I would give him a greenie. Yeah. Sorry, talking about the dog. Both players are loading a bit. Oh, no worries, man. Well, I was more apologizing to anybody watching this commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you don't care about my, my dog. feelings? What is How this? How do you not care about my dog? Oh, nice. Speaking of dog, B-Dog crushing <laughs> that speed keep out of um, Dayron. That's yeah, that was clean. that's so hard. I wonder I've how much even... time that saves. It has if to be pretty significant. I don't know, man. You can kind of flash shift through there. But and as I far as I'm like aware, that's faster. as far as I'm aware, that's the whole month, that's Rain's, uh, Rain's speed keep that he developed. Yeah, it might be. Okay, Ark does it as well. Well, he does a no, different No, he did the different that, one and didn't get it That one is, down. is a little yeah. slower than just flash shifting. Yeah. I never choose the strategy that I'm going to use for that until I get there. Because <laughs> I'm like, know. I don't remember what I should do. Uh, for me, it's just like, I'll I'll see what my hands feel like doing. I'm like, ah, I feel like doing this this time. Because the time difference is so small. Oh, now we're heading to Berenia 2, one of my favorite parts of the game, where... Yeah, lots of speed keeps. Where the speed keeps start coming to play, you know? I mean, that one that beat... And they stop, because this is about it. Insane. But yeah, you're right, you're right. That's true, in this run, that's that's where they end, basically. Yeah, that's one thing I like about all bosses, like, you have tons of There's so those. many. There's really Frozen fun. Artaria is just so fun! Exactly. It's so yeah. fun! Oh, he missed it. He missed the keep in the tunnel, which is a really tough one to keep. It's yeah, you, you got to get timing's precise. Yeah, it's really really. And you precise. lose a lot of time there. Well, this one's actually slow. This Here one's you... slow, but I think it's it's easier to do this than it yeah. is to do the flash shifts. Yeah, agreed. Because if you mess up the execution on the flash shifts, it's slower than the shine spark, and the shine spark's pretty easy. Yeah. All right. This is true. Ooh, missing the first pseudo, got it in okay. two out of three. Two out of three is pretty good. Going for oh, the cloak. He's cloaking a little here. late. I yeah. think what he did is he went for the cloakless strat. He did, yeah. Um, he was going for the cloakless for sure there. Yeah. Ooh, Ark missing the shine spark. Yeah, he's not going to be able to spark jump. here. Nope, can't not do it. Time. That sucks. Flashing early, to too. Him. You're supposed to. You got to slide into the hit and then flash. His health is going to be a little low for the robot, but uh, I mean, he did dread mode, so he should be prepared. Yeah, for this. I think he'll be all right. Two for two on the pseudos, which is really, really nice. Got the yeah. cloakless boost. Nice. That's going to save Good him some stuff. time, too. Yeah, that's some patented arc. I mean, I think he came up with that particular grapple cancel threat. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's really, really good. Um, because I have to yeah. fight Drog in my category, I, I do it a little bit differently. But that yeah. strategy, strategy doesn't really apply to me. Dude, but I, always, I always lose time there after Drog because I don't know what to do. I just go I go all the way to the right wall and do the old strat. <laughs> oh, B-Dog losing the speed keep on the Gav 
thing there. Did you see if he up. did the did the morph with a speed boost? Or? I think he morphed, but I think he morphed a little late oh. and caught the ledge. Um, mm. Not charging the diffusion during the shine spark there, which I'm a little surprised about. Because I've been seeing a lot of runners do that recently as oh, well. Oh, his health is so low. So low. Not opting for the parry either. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Well, the, if you parry the robot, he takes less damage. damage. Yeah, for... I know. But oh, for the HP, bad. I think it's worth it personally. Neither player going for the defeat. These in. these players don't care. They yeah. will. They, they'll risk it all. Yeah, for damage. That's it. Risk it all for the damage. Save a couple seconds. Uh, probably not even a couple. Oh so my god, this is so scary. Damage. I'm gonna die in my heart. Oh, I forgot. Bosses do reduce damage. That thing they only do. did 50 on the body. They sure do. Dang. Nice like... grapple boost from Ark yep. as well. Another cool. another pandit Ark technique. Very clean. Please don't. Okay. Two yep. flashes there. Got on the button. Really nice. No more fall out of that door. Ooh, accidentally catching the ledge. That's tough. Getting yeah, super. So not the best room there, but got the supers and we'll make it up before the door in, closes, I'm sure. You know, in my opinion, th those rooms are actually pretty tough to optimize because they're really, they're like small, the, they're cramped, the movement. Yeah. Like you have to adapt to the camera really quickly. You have to yeah, and there's a lot of loading which, zones. Well. Well, and, and they also, you know, in this room you go down and in this room you go up and then you go sideways and there's a lot to do there, you know. Oh, B-Dog Oh my god, the, the, the hero oh bug. God. That bug is MVP wow, of the entire game. Wow, that bug was just matrixing the spacer beam. That was so crazy. Oh, dodges, man. Bullet time right there. Neo the chosen bug. That was insane. Yeah. We're all just Mr. Smiths living in that get, bug's world. You know, get that bug in the Silk Song. That's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> yeah, the final boss right there. That's it. Ark getting a nice clean room. I mean, well. Metroid and Hollow Knight have that much in common now. There's bugs everywhere. Yeah. I like bugs. to think that uh, the world of Hollow Knight takes place in like some random patch of dirt <laughs> in Gavron. <laughs> <laughs> That you know, that's now my head cannon. Is that it's just some random fucking patch of dirt and gav. Yeah, and if you if you shoot it, then the, the protagonist dies. It's be careful, be careful, <laughs> be careful, very careful. I thought oh, was, we got Zass here. I thought B Doc wouldn't get any E tanks after running Dread Mode. <laughs> well, did he enjoy Dread Mode? Is a separate question. <laughs> did anyone enjoy Dread Mode? That's a, its own question. But I, I liked mean, it. I think a lot of people did. My thirty-five minute Raven, Raven Beak split was great. <laughs> oh yeah, fun times. Super fun times. You know, I'm surprised. I B Dog. I wonder if Ark's gonna go for it. Uh, and then after you shoot that blob there, if you do a ledge hop, you can. As soon as you get up, you can flash, yeah, you can flash shift, shift onto into the, the next ledge. ledge. Yeah, and I was surprised to not see it. Yeah, Ark uh, I'm surprised too. Ark has his own now. strategy here. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, real quick, how hard is the new dread mode? Uh, it's super damn hard. <laughs> I mean, everything's a one-shot kill. Who who said that? That was Watson. Uh, oh, Watson! Sorry, we gotta right we gotta now. mute you because uh, we're in the middle of uh, commentating. Yep, I have oh, yeah, already drunk. muted Watson. Uh, if you morph on the right place, you can hear the map guy humming. That sounds right. <laughs> okay, there we go. I like the map guy. The map guy. Oh yeah. Dude, that singing got on my nerves, like, within a minute. <laughs> B-Dog missile weaving with some supers. Yeah, Ark still making up. his way up to the uh, the Chozo. Very clean movement up to him, though, which is great. You know, you love yeah. to see a nice a grapple boost. Um, and this is, you know, this is where a turbo cool. player makes up a lot of their time. You can make up a lot of time yeah, for, your, for subpar movement with uh, turbo on these Chozo fights. They're, they're so short. But look at Ark's mash, Jesus Christmas. B-Dog's uh, mash is, is insane like that as well. He just the frame rate belies how good it is. Oh, will he go for the spark here? Nice. He did it, he, he did it, nice. I go for that spark too. Uh, I think you should do aerial flash shifts at the end there. It's a little faster. And uh, that spark is a crash risk, so. Yeah, that, I'm sorry, what, what, was, what is faster? I, I missed that, I apologize. At the very end here where Ark is, uh, oh, well, he doesn't do it, but at this door here, once you shoot it, you want to do a short hop into three flash shifts and you land right on the button, which will ah, save a tiny bit of time. That's interesting, I didn't know that. Yep. But yeah, I know that, I know the, 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 um, the goo the inky's a, a a crash risk but you know 
It's worth yeah, it. Yeah, especially for I feel like if you if you do that that particular strat and you shoot him, shoot the like the frame before you you hit him, that crashed my game like consistently. Like I react to hitting him for the oh, shot. You, you shoot after hitting him. Or? Yeah, I shoot as I touch him. Like it's literally yeah, it's, I, it's I do it much on reaction. Do. Okay. I, I think I shoot as I touch him, but slightly before. Yeah. So I'm just and when I went back and frame by frame watched it, I was it was a little before. Yeah. Oh well, these players do the speed boost here. Both Meet players getting a very clean run up to that atom room. Oh, he, he Dog did a very different strat than usual. Ah, oh, interesting. Did he abandon the speed keep in that room? Yeah, and in, in part way through, he shot a diffusion shot at the two blocks and just morphed into there and then climbed up with grapple. Interesting. Yeah. Both players doing a oh, oh this, wow. this heavy pattern. Wow, that the was recovery though. Maneuver. That was good stuff. You know, Arcs oh, had no. some really. Oh, no. He's oh, fine. He's fine. He's fine. Arcs had some really difficult Emmy rooms, you know, and and that just again speaks to the caliber of player because like, uh, how do you how do you adapt to that many shit Emmy spawns? You know, know. like you, that's you have to so, practice so wild. many different patterns. You just have to know it. That's the thing. You just have to have the knowledge to do it. Yeah. Or, or, or just lose a bunch of runs to it. But I think you'd rather practice it. Yeah. Now does. Okay. Do that. I thought yeah, I was wondering. Spark. Well, yeah, because I thought I figured, you know, Ark took that extra little bit of movement into yeah, the right. corner I there. I was like, "Ooh, fight. I'm ready for the instant spark," but that's not what happened. <laughs> and maybe that was I, the intent, but he was like, "You know what? I'm not trying exactly. to lose this race to fucking Ice MECU." Yeah, that's, that's my theory <laughs> too. My little head cannon. Yeah, it's it's pretty reasonable, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's the awareness from Ark. Like he's yeah. reacting to. You know, when things don't go the perfect way, and uh, yeah. that's that's what separates him from uh, a lot of lower times, basically. he's He's got that adaptability. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and we, we talk about Ark being able to do this like B-Dog wouldn't be able to do it as well. You know, both of these players <laughs> yeah, have certainly. all this shit memorized pretty hard. Um, and, you know, who's yeah, to B say... B-Dog does have the better time, after all. Yeah, exactly. So. You know, it's just a matter of execution and, and, and RNG, not getting unlucky. This is true, and and speaking of RNG, well, it's it's not really RNG. We have something which is a total run killer coming up: the space pseudo infamous. Oh yes, the infamous space pseudo. I knew that was coming up soon. Um, yeah, but... so here you would go get spin boost and uh, yep. all bosses. Yep, you would get spin boost. You would kill the Chozo and then make your way to early gravity, um, yep. and then frozen Artaria, uh, because there are bosses there that demand. To be killed. They need to be killed. They exactly. Must we want to make that counter at the end 30. The yeah. beautiful 30. It's a nice round number. You love to see oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Nintendo thought about this. They probably started to say, like, oh, we should make the CUs into into bosses, into bosses. so that it becomes 30. <laughs> yeah. Well, CUs are bosses, but like, Gray Emmy, really? Is that a boss? Let's manipulate this however it takes needs to seconds. be to make it 30. Just make it 30. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let's so they see. Right on the back of a box. Okay, first try here from B Dog. Does he get it? Nope. No. Two angle was too far to the left, or it's already done. Well, it was too far to the right, but anyway, he got it. It's already so done. Try. It's the precision required for that pseudo is wild, and seeing yeah, somebody doing three hard. shots or two shots is is insanity. You know, sometimes you have to reset the room to reset the health on the mob underneath because if you don't have it. Yeah, you can't do it. You'll kill it, and then if you kill it, it takes even longer to reset. I think uh, Ark was off on the frame there because the shot passed through in the correct way. But hey, you got it second try. B Dog's second try was a little faster because B Dog uses two different timing windows, two parts of the animation, so he'll shoot his second shot a little faster than the first. Interesting. Time. I didn't know that. See, I don't so know a lot about that trick. Tries. I just know it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. Tough trick. I love seeing but, those those flash shifts down that slope. I think that's such a cool yeah. thing. It's it's a yeah, beautiful it's thing. A, I know they they did a really good job with this game. Like I feel like a lot of Nintendo games historically they they just feel so boneless. Like you just can't move. It feels like you're on rails and, and Dad's walking you through the park, but yeah. not in Dread. In Dread, if you want to go run into a wall and get a concussion, that's up to you. And Dad's not going to help you. Nope. 
Look it's at the, uh, the, the ja- <laughs> look at the Jaffe Asco. That's what I'm going to call exactly. it. Exactly. The Jaffe Asco. You know, they didn't hold your yeah. hand and tell you where to go. They, they, only... they did not design this game for stoners to necessarily know where they're going every single time. Excuse so. me. Excuse me. I resent that remark. Okay. No, <laughs> no, no, not stoners. Having, okay. having done speed runs while stoned. <laughs> you know the route then. I can still you remember where to go. You've but already learned the game. That's different. It's true. I love that speed keep too. I love the the slide into the morph ball into this room in Dayron with the instant spark up, and then the just sheer terror of accidentally touching that missile pack. Yeah, if you, it shouldn't really be a problem. Just just flash as soon as you can. Yeah, it's just you know it would. It's like a tight butthole moment. I feel like though. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'd clencher. freak out internally every single time. Yeah, it's an absolute clencher. <laughs> Damn. Well, Art got that morph too, and there we go. Very Clean stuff. nice. I, nice. I think you can buffer the flash shift because it just feels like that. Yeah, and I mean I any turbo players i i keep a on turbo all the time so you can just yeah do you always make it over the missiles just holding a i don't know i've never done that shine spark <laughs> okay oh i see <laughs> I oh yeah it's, route. it's not, not this not part of your route that's, no that's why I, that's why i get so enamored by it it's really cool to watch and i don't ever get to do it nice oh, damage you know, boost from the charge <laughs> there that was great <laughs> that's cool now are we gonna shine spark down nope we're not nah, i see a lot the, of people the spark do the shine spark down it, fe- it felt slow when i saw it the few times wow that was mm-hmm. a very cool uh double flash shift into the instant ledge hop there that was really yep. neat i liked that it's good movement a couple of frozen rooms here I, I don't think the speed boost he did earlier was was fast i think you want to just flash shift let's see what arc does here um yeah well Ooh. I'm gonna watch both players at once. Oh, Ark is doing the speed boost too. Is yep. it really faster? I uh, wonder. I don't know, man. I timed it and I didn't find it to be. All right. But so hey, this is the water space jump here, right? Where you're trying to break the. Oh Ooh, my God! B dog fell. Him. That's tough. This is gonna give Ark an opportunity. Yeah. Two, three, four. Oh, he fell again. Up? Wow. That's I, tough. This is so uncharacteristic for B dog. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, it's it, as Doing far as I'm aware, this it? is this is also a really tough thing to do. I've I've never done it, but it, it seems like it cannot be easy. No, it's really not so bad, but no. um, unless unless you try and do maybe a really fast version of it, where you only do like two jumps total. Yeah, um, Art getting it almost first try, which is great. Yeah, it's gonna make up a good. lot of time for him. He got it in three jumps total, which is standard. Like, well, it's it's still pretty hard. But it's what you want. Yeah, exactly. Like you can rely on three. Two yeah. is Lord. Oh, and B Dog gets that uh, water bomb jump as well. First try, he's very consistent with that one. That makes okay, a lot of sense. Fallen, it's one hundred percent one of those overthink it and you're done kind of strats. That makes yeah. a lot of oh, sense. Oh, there's so many of those. Uh, Arc gets a two first gets try. Well. For, for these players, it's it's pretty much free that water bomb jump. I think I'm just an outlier to. to be <laughs> So how about that pseudo that that uh, B Dog did just did to move that platform? Is that tough? Because that looks like a pretty rough one. Uh, it used to be a little tricky, but now there's a new setup due to Dram, which is both faster and most people find it easier. So oh, it's not great. so bad. And and the thing is, the the setup is like it's it's like a cookbook setup. Like you just yeah. press these buttons in this order. There's no timing to it, and the uh-huh. angle is actually pretty lenient. I would say there's probably five to ten degrees of leniency on the angle, oh, not okay. like space it's like one degree like you have to be in this degree yeah the space pseudo i know is is really precise i've seen a couple of screenshots hyper zoomed in on the <laughs> yeah <laughs> on yeah, the discord i'm just like, like oh my god no your thank you falls right up to the screen <laughs> yeah it's it's uh super precise but yeah, both players are on the same teleporter at the same time. That just goes to show how close this race is. Yeah, it's not uh, even like they're high fiving. This is this is a oh, few no, no seconds high difference. Here. No high fives in this race. Not at all. Beat on blowing up that blob like really quick. Oh, and getting the quick morph in the tunnel. Yeah, charge a shot, and then when you morph, it releases it and blows up the block, and it's yeah. nice and easy. As long as oh, you're Art facing. Did not right, right. damage the blob, so he loses a little time there. Oh, oh, the damage boost through. through the tunnel! That was so cool! <laughs> style, man. Both that, these players, they have style. That's, that's a swag strat. You love to see oh, those. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I oh, think both man. strats were super, super cool. They're both clean as shit for different reasons. Like, I like I, both of oxymoron, them. Oxymoron, but definitely <laughs> I mean, Hey, man. No, no question. We've all had a ghost poop in our life, you know, where you wipe and it's clean. They're, 
Yeah, yeah. I had one happens. of those today. It was it was, <laughs> it was glorious. It told me today would be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and that that's when you knew. Yeah, it's a good omen. So now I'm like I'm, I think I'll play Dreadmoon. Maybe I'll do a Deathless because I this, feel this... like this that little set of tunnels has to be such a pain to optimize. Yeah, definitely. I think the hardest part is the bugs. They they usually are what cost me the time. Um yeah, Ark is actually a little slow to where the bugs were not bothering him there. Interesting. So is it is then, it a cycle thing that you have to work around? Yeah, so you, if you're, depending on how fast you get there, you're going to have to do, like, slightly different strats. And, right. You know, hopefully, they, if they do hit you, they don't boost you up. That, that's right, kind of right. the worst scenario. Do you know when the cycle starts? Like, does it start in the room before and, like, it just, um, or that, like, loads no, up I, or whatever? No, I, I doubt it starts in the room before. It feels... It feels like it starts when they're within the camera, essentially. When they're within... Oh, so as uh, soon as you see the spawn point, that's when the timer starts. Yeah, exactly. So it's variable based on how quickly you descend through the room. That's really interesting. Yep, so your movement early on in that room is less important than your movement after a certain point, basically. And, right. Oh, B-Dog messes up the store there. He did it a little too early. Oh, but he, he gets the block break there. That's Got great. It. That is awesome. And the rest of this should be okay. And he's probably going to skip this 10-pack if I had to guess. Yes, he does. Yep. No need. Yeah, there's Arc no need for it. Try. Yeah, yeah, love love to see that store first try. This, you know, it's so easy to screw up this uh, this speed speed section here. Yeah, dude. So many runs have been lost to this, <laughs> including B-Dogs, including Oryx. I, every runner at every skill level has had runs lost no, to early grav. Every <laughs> single person. Yeah, that's true. And it's like, it's it's at some point you're like, bro, this is literally an intended item pickup. Oh, Ark got the double shot with that diffusion, saving so almost was a really second. Nice. Good stuff there. That thing almost feels random. It does feel kind of random. Those, those, <laughs> it, that, that, pulling that thing down is just so weird. Yeah. Sometimes uh, if you're holding charge and you try and switch to grapple, the game just bugs out and does not give you grapple. Yeah. There's a little tantrum. He's he's oh he Ooh. tried to avoid the missiles I think, but he. he I was gonna there. say I want I was wondering whether or not that was intentional. Yeah. Let's see if Ark grabs it. I don't I don't see it happening. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Well, that's okay, a small well, time save as well. Yeah, a little bit, but they, they will have to shoot Ravenbeak a little bit, guaranteed, because fifty yeah. ice missiles is exactly the threshold. Ooh, much better RNG for Ark than B Dog got. B Dog got a, a counter swing. Ark is keeping really them early. Here. Yeah, Ark Ark got a couple of red swings in a row, and uh, B Dog's second hit was a blue swing. So that's that's just gonna knock you off the platform. That just sucks. Yeah, your your option, other option is to slide into the robot, and you will stay there. Um, oh, but, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, um, but it's still weird because he sometimes will go through you, and so there it's hard right, to line right. him up after that. And even, it's still not a good attack. even sometimes just walking forward into certain attacks on the on the bots, they'll go through you. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Because I've done that on the Ferenia Robo fight where you shine spark from the left hand side. And yeah, the orange one crosses you up yeah, all the time. He, he gets, he's he's just using cross ups. It's not cool, man. This is not a fighting game. Like Yeah, this is freaking platformer adventure. Let me be a badass and kill you already. Please. Yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to I would say I'm not trying to count frame data, but there's so many things in this game where you gotta count frame data. So yeah, you do, you do. <laughs> if only we had tools, frame advance and stuff like that. Mm. But uh maybe one day. Ooh, get oh, that. Trash will come with that. That's not good. And and the bug, oh man, this, oh, twice? Oh Absolutely no. Absolutely getting trolled. His health is getting pretty low. Hopefully he does not die here. Oh man, that really sucks. Okay, and B-Dog seems to be getting the quick kill on Golzuna here. Oh, it was a good recovery because the second, uh, the Colossus was not great. And he didn't get oh. the um, Shine Spark kill on the Corex. That's going to cost him a little bit of time too. Definitely. Let's see if oh, oh Ark got he's bopped. That's... He's gonna go for the backup spark here. I think it's not too easy to get. Oh, his health is super low. And he didn't get it. That's tough. This is gonna put even on rookie thing. mode. I think one hit will kill here. I mean, he's at thirty nine energy. He's dead on one hit. <laughs> Absolutely, that's not even a question. Yeah, we we would need like absolute novice mode, like straight out of the womb mode. To, we would actually spot. need a journo mode. Journalist mode, yeah. Like Jeff a literal journo mode. Oh, I hate this spawn. Ooh, oh my god. Here, don't crap, screw attack. I mean, don't screw attack. Yeah, no, probably. Ah! <laughs> Jesus okay, Christ. Okay, you live. 
Okay, oh good. My God. good. We're alive. Ooh. Mark giving us all a minor fucking heart Mark, attack. He's like, I know how much health. Off the damage value. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, he's like, I wonder, I wonder if I'll die. It's yeah. it's rookie mode. I might not die. Fuck it, let's try he's it. Got, he's got loss for blood in him. I tell you, man, he's just always <laughs> trying to research things. Could also be a genuine missed input there. No, I doubt that. I, I'm sure. I'm sure it was is for research. Hundred percent intentional research purposes in the middle of a race. <laughs> Absolutely. B-Dog Absolutely. getting the full uh, shine spark down the hallway. Oh, good stuff. I think that saves about a second. And then. Oh, uh, good. The enemy... That's actually fast. I'm glad I do that now. Yeah, it is. It's just that the enemy afterwards can be a pain and lose your time if you don't go through him properly. Well, see, uh, for me, in Glitchless, you have to take that Atom Room properly. Yeah. So you can get a speed boost directly from the Atom platform and kill the Yankee every time and slide into the tube. Oh, okay. You can um, just start speed. If you're doing all bosses, moves. you have to like. Oh, do you do you walk back a bit to store the spark? No, you don't need to. Oh, you oh, okay. start you start storing start the speed, speed boost, rather. immediately on the atom platform. The frame you start moving, and oh, you okay. will you'll end up killing the Yankee and sliding into the tube. Oh, yeah, I, I might start doing that then. Yeah, uh, I think flash ships nice. are probably a little faster to do, do them properly, but probably. Uh, but I don't like I don't dealing with the Yankee. Ooh, He's wow. Bad. He's a pain. Yeah, what no. you can do is slide into him and flash sip, shift off that. And that's that's what I do. It seems fast enough. Yeah, it makes sense. B dog Let's getting see. a nice weave down that frozen room, navigating yeah, through for right path. Right path okay. is interesting. Please. I'm personally not a fan of right path. Uh, I don't do it, and I used to not be a fan. But what B dog just did there looked pretty fast. It's, it's yeah, it looks pretty fast. I would love to see this stuff timed, and he does a speed boost through here, almost fully keeps it. I wonder why I didn't keep it. I wonder if that... It looked intentional. It did look it. intentional to, to let it go. Oh, that's yeah. a good question. I, I wonder I what the rationale is there. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was an accident. Who knows? Because it really looked like the speed keep would be a little faster. Yeah. Let's and then are we go to the store? Speed boost no. here. Okay. I like to do that speed boost as well to get the short hop um, oh, and screw attack like that and just land. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nice and clean. All right, let's see how the quick kill goes for SQ here for B Dog. What strat are we using? We're the jump sparking strat. down from the spear and two, getting three, him in the corner. Five, six, lock, done. And get the two uh, screws all in the oh, core. Oh, our candy got go. caught on the uh, on a. Oh, did he get board. alerted by the Emmy? No, but those little those little shield guys. He got caught on one of them while trying oh, to flash yeah. shift through the Emmy door. Oh yeah, that that's always annoying when that happens, and you know yeah. it's gonna happen, but still, <laughs> it still sucks. That's an interesting direction through that room. I like that. Yeah, uh, and that flash just, just into flash that right out of the mean. tube. That's so nice. Yeah, these things. I mean, so many potential time saves here. I'm not sure what's faster, but that looked pretty well, fast. In my opinion, that's part of the beauty of this game is that you can just pick the route that you're most comfortable with. You know. Yeah, and it's usually pretty good. Oh, B -Dog oh and B -Dog getting the speed, speed keep keep. all the way through. That was Very great. Good. And, and a little flash shift at the end is probably almost even preemptively firing that uh, storm missile, which would have been a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, he did a good roundhouse there. Yeah, with 360 degrees range of motion, just showing off to his doctor that you know he's got his flexibility. <laughs> and this is you know not to overshadow the the really super clean quick kill that um, our candy just got on SQ. It was really really nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. So he, did he get the same strat as B Dog? I well, I was too distracted by that speed keep. I did not see, <laughs> but it was clean. Idea. There were six bounces, and the bug was dead. So you love to oh, see that. You love to see it, really. What could be better than all that? Just you know, I love dead bosses. Yeah, the deader the better. Exactly. And working out, it's a little bit easier. I don't think any of these players, have, well, except for the Gozuna fight, have been really in danger of dying to like the robots or anything, even no. though they're on two tanks. Yeah, rookie mode is is really really interesting in terms. That's weird. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say it's really interesting in terms of how you approach boss fights because like it doesn't actually change the strategy that much. It just makes it yeah. that much easier to execute it because <laughs> yeah, exactly. you're really just fucking sitting there just tanking hits and you're like, I can tank more hits. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just so, so much more easy on the mind, you know, less yeah. effort, right? less who, who can, thought. Who can be mad at that. All right. Let's see which uh, wave beam Emmy B dog is going to go for here. Which oh, kill? I know. I know he's going to, I'll bet you right now he's going to go for the fast kill. What yeah. I'll bet you. I don't know. I'm, I'm a very poor man. So I'm not really much. 
much uh, pleasure. Bet but, your uh, bragging rights that he goes bragging for. Bragging rights. What do you think? Jump or no oh, jump? Kello. Jump or oh, no jump? Um, uh, he's going to have to jump. Yeah, I was going to say. He's it's probably it's gonna so have to hard jump. to do the non-jump method. It depends on if he lands all his shots. Yeah, if he lands if every single one, he'll stay there. If you're running turbo, you can do no jump a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turbo, it's not so bad. Oh my god, he did. He, he landed pretty much every shot. Oh, he slid underneath. Okay. Yeah, to do it on that spot, is it's like all, almost task level. Hard. It's too risky. Yeah, it's understandable. Because you're, you're basically think, forfeiting the race at that point. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, B Dog said uh, he got it like only once after many, many tries. Yeah, yeah. Super hard. It's really, really hard. Honestly, even even with turbo, because like what you get in fire rate, you compromise on the ability to aim precisely. So it's yeah. It's well, really that's difficult. that's on the currently existing controllers. I yeah, exactly, exactly. Arc opting for the safer strat, um, the classic strat. Ooh, getting oh, the diffusion blew. shots. Nice. That was nice. Very he, quick. He timed players. that second shot really well. If it you was... do it too early, the enemy gets stalled in the tunnel for a bit. Really? I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yep. Yep, so you don't want to... The first shot, you can do whatever. The second one needs to be a bit delayed. Oh. Costs maybe two seconds. Like, it's... <laughs> you don't want it to happen. Yeah, no. Arc getting uh, the kill right at the top there. That's really nice. Clean stuff, yeah. Very and now clean. the block is destroyed. He'll be able to make his escape very nicely. Yeah, he can just get the hell out of there, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, Ark, what, what's his split set? He's about plus 40 now, and... Um, plus 40, yeah. That's about the difference between him and B-Dog, I think. So, B-Dog is around Ark's PB right now. Yeah. It's it's, it's definitely, you know, the, the gap could definitely be clo closer. You know, we, and we, we never said, know. It can be closed. We said this from the beginning that this was going to be a wicked tight race. Oh, absolutely. Like and it's been really, tight really, really tight time. race. Yeah. You know, it, it's, I gotta say, it's also nice that, that both runners have their splits on screen and everything. Like, I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to say that should be a requirement for future races, but I would really, really like it because then we can just get Strong rid of recommendation. It. Yeah, we can get rid of the timer on the screen, which will, because it's, it right now, it, it literally serves no purpose. Huh. Um, uh, well, it's a little easier to see, right? I'm, I'm looking at the stream right now, but, eh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, yeah. But, Either hey, way, there, that, that's empty space. You gotta fill it with something, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what it's there for. B Dog okay. used a couple of the storm missiles there in the beginning. Nice. Oh, that looked pretty fast. Yeah. Damn. So even with two tanks, they can probably take some hits on these bosses. Yeah. These, you know, uh, I would, are... I would still be really hesitant to take a hit from the uh, the gold the, one. The yeah. gold one with the once he's once he's shifted. Yeah, I, I don't think I would risk that, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, we just don't know if it's if you can take the hit. So I think somebody I, I was talking about it earlier today that the damage wasn't oh. that mitigated from those two. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, ooh, Ark getting oh, okay. caught up on the little shield boys there again. Those have <laughs> yeah, been that, that one is super run. annoying. Yeah, charging up the storm missile before the cutscene. They that's got the it. Move. Took I damage. Like the oh, bounce. he took so little damage. Yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah. he didn't get the three ices, so he's he's gonna take an extra attack here. But uh, phase two is going okay. Yeah, phase two is good. It Ark was not weaving in the ice missiles like B Dog was, so it, it's likely a little bit slower if I had to guess. Yeah. I think he was he was certainly trying, but his mash seemed a little slow there, partially due to the lagginess of his it, room. There's lagginess in the room, and it's also you know Discord frame rate issues. We don't really have a good way of knowing what his mash was actually like because we're That's watching. That's true. Y'all are That's watching a, a restream point. of a restream it's, at this point. Yeah. Yeah, and even I'm looking at Discord, and it's only 30 FPS. Yeah. So you really can't tell. Nope. Oh, B-Dog got the bonk cancel. Uh, apparently, that's frame perfect. and uh, I yeah, didn't know that existed. Yeah, b basically what B-Dog's theory is, is you spark and you hit the, the breaking glass, the, the frame that it destroys. And if you do that, you'll actually not hit it. You'll go through it and then cancel your, your bonk, your, your spark bonk. But, Interesting. I mean, you'd have to be a madman to actually go for that. I don't know if B Dog did. I mean, he's a madman. So I mean, I don't <laughs> think it would really necessarily lose you any time. Oh, if you if you spark too early, you'll just hit the ceiling oh, and you won't even. Oh, I see what you mean. You'll uh, just actually bonk. Yep, and you have to do another spark. Which should got it. Suck. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, Arc. Arc did get only one power bomb, so he can't power bomb that room. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, but he's getting this nice Got speed, key. speed key. Oh, and he stored it in a really good spot. Oh, 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 no! Oh, that's, that's intentional. That's so unfortunate. No, he, he thought he was... Okay. 
He, he thought was he was more in the to right the left. Spot. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. Everything about that was clean until the very end. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, that's a hard speed keep. Yeah, it's not easy. And I can't even do it. <laughs> um, me neither, man. I just fucking flash shift through there. Well, I gotta listen to Adam talk. <laughs> oh, that, that's true. It's not even an option for you. That's, nope. That's very true. Literally not an option. For me, it's an option, and I still will not. I just flash shift. Yeah. That's oh, one uh, thing I. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, Arc Stream is now. Oh, no. Rip Arc Stream. It is completely frozen on my end. Hopefully, oh, it does come no. back. Oh, no. I do hope it comes back. I, I, I think he won't die on this boss, but you never know. I don't think so either. Uh, you know, it, unfortunately, with the with the time difference and the consistency of these two players, you know, at this point in the game, it's kind of a foregone conclusion. You know, it's yeah. Dying it's, to Gold Chozo on on record pace. Nah, who, who would do that? That's, happening. that's something I would do, but that's not something these guys would do. No, no, sir. B Dog going for the cross bombs here as well. I'm going to shift my stream audio to B Dog stream. Okay, Arc, uh, oh, did you get some of Arc back? Does not have volume. Uh, no, I yeah. don't. I don't have oh, Arc okay. back. It's oh, just no. a freeze frame on the map right now. <laughs> oh, I see a ball. Okay, we're getting some frames. Uh, B Dog did not get gold skip. Did he really miss it? He really missed Jeez. Gold Skip. Wow, that's unfortunate. Did he do the Storm Strat, the Bonnie method? I wasn't looking because I was looking at oh. um, I was looking at Discord trying to shift the audio, but the audio never shifted because I don't know if B Dog's actually outputting any audio. To that Discord. will close the gap a bit. Oh, B Dog's taking some damage here. Arcs close the gap a little. Best bit. Best chance is maybe like B Dog dying. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, what are the chances of that happening? It's, I mean, even in dread mode, he was he was having deathless beaks. So oh yeah, he he hard. did not do the nine plus one. I think he did do the storm missile strat. I see. Yeah, it should uh, shouldn't be hard, but okay. you never know. I you definitely miss saw him in gold state though. Hmm. Confirmed. B dog can't mash. <laughs> B dog forgot to turn on his turbo, Kappa. Imagine imagine a more ridiculous thing being said. Oh well. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying, but I can't. That's maybe what Arc, Arc can't mash. That's maybe a little more ridiculous. <laughs> They're both excellent, excellent mashers. Yeah, not even a question. Uh, Arc is going to have to throw some beams in. I don't know if he already has done it, because he only has 48 missiles here. He's out of missiles now. We're at beams so, and cross bombs. Okay. There we go. Yeah, because he got a bunch of cross bombs in earlier. So. Oh, I see. Nice adaptation there. Missile fire yeah. rate is through the roof. <laughs> Yeah, it's but that's it's standard. Really shooting up. Standard boosted from uh, RB cutscene. Yeah, especially the the second part of that. Yeah. And B Dog is completely done with Ravenbeak, and he's about to kill X, the thirtieth boss in the game. The thirtieth boss. It's very difficult. Hey, boss damage is reduced, right? So if he eats you, do you die? <laughs> you only half die. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Do you lose your legs and just? Yeah, you have just to, have, like, to, you have to crawl. Metroid your way can out. finally crawl. <laughs> Metroid can finally crawl, but Metroid can only crawl with one hand because gun arm doesn't crawl good. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you could shoot the ground behind you to get some boosts, maybe. Yeah, that'd be a good strategy. B dog on the escape. B dog on the escape, getting the hell out of dodge. Oh yeah, ZDR dodge. Same thing. Yeah. Hey, what's the difference? You know, I gotta say. When Dread came out, I know this might be a hot take, and there was an escape sequence. I got a little bummed out. Did you? I did. I'm kind of fucking done with the escape sequences, personally. Oh. But I've, you know, I've been a lifelong fan. I've, I waited it 20 years. Has it grown on you? Tell me it's grown on you. No, I've, I've, I've loved this game for literally as long as I've been alive, and yeah, I'm not serious. a fan of the escape sequences. <laughs> I, I'm over them, just like I'm over Ridley. Oh no, I still love Ridley. I'm I mean, so I do agree that they that used him too much, but I still love Ridley. All uh, right, let's see. I'm curious which strat uh, people are going to go with, whether it's going to be the yeah. Shine Spark out at the top or just do the uh, speed. Oh, it'll probably jump. be the Spark because uh, I think oh, it's there it slightly is. faster. Yeah, and with Space Jump, you can actually do it. So, B Dog yeah. finished B -dog 118 finished 23. Excellent time. Arc absolutely hot on his heels. Um, oh, yeah. Well, Arc do the Arc Spark pen did. 
saves maybe two seconds here. Patented arc spark. Oh I'm yeah. Ready. Oh, this. He's one. going for it. Get it. Ooh, oh, there it is. You goose. Oh, you get love to see we get it. The morph? Oh my Ooh, god, we got the, the morph. Legend. Let's fucking go. You're too much. This one's for you, morph. Oh yeah. Morph is so proud. Morph is blushing in the corner. The Ooh, morph. missing the instant spark though. That's that's tough. Oh, and it, it drops the speed key <sighs> Damn. because it, it was a weird situation. Not even getting the store there either. That's rough. Hey, get the arc spark. That's really all that counts. I, it happens, that's really you know. One nineteen seventeen. Excellent race between the two runners. This was good, good stuff. This was a, a privilege to commentate um, for my first time commentating anything. I don't know about you, Maroof, but I had a great time. <laughs> Same here. It was great, and you know, I get a little passionate. I may probably talk a little too much sometimes, no. but please excuse me for that. No, 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 no. We filled we filled pretty much the entire airtime. I, I, I don't think ah, there yeah. was any silence. There is there is no empty space. I think that's that's a good thing, right? Yeah. I would say so. We're commentating. We're not supposed to sit here quietly. Yeah, we're we're not. This is not a golf game. Like no, no, exactly. Spectating from the sidelines. No, this is Metro Dread action adventure. A lot of shooty, rooty, tooty, pointy, <laughs> and um, and now we get to see the and stats. Planet Explody. Planet go boom. Oh, it's Rudy true. Rudy Tootie Planet Explody. That is, uh, <laughs> that's Metroid in a nutshell, folks. That should be the tagline. That should be the Metroid 6. Rudy Tootie Planet Explody. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Rudy Tootie Planet Explody. Yeah, that would be uh, accurate um, title. 50 Zero times pixels. defeated. Zero times oh, yeah. defeated. Shocker. I'm, I'm sure everybody <laughs> watching uh, in chat it's is, mode, is man. very You're surprised. Die rookie. That's embarrassing. Yeah. No. Embarrassment. <laughs> it's only embarrassing if you can't get out of Jaffy room. That's the only thing that's ex <laughs> embarrassing, you know. Got to got to beat that, that dead hard. horse. <laughs> got to murder that horse it, into its deadness. Yeah. Um, Years from now. Poor I, Jeff. He didn't know what he signed up for. Do we want to see if either of the runners want to pop in and have a chat with us? Yeah, that would be great. I'd love to see what their thoughts are. Could you ping one or both of them in uh yeah, I'll in send racing? A message. Or, uh, or in no mic or Whatever. I'll DM them. Let's yeah, that's fine. Say. See if they want to pop in and and uh, say some stuff. Oh, dear Lord, mute yourself before you type. Holy crow. Your keyboard is <laughs> okay, okay. so loud. Okay, yes. I got my little mechanical. <laughs> I'll mute it. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, sorry to all the years that I've uh, completely destroyed. It's fine. Probably. I also have a mechanical keyboard, and it is very loud. So I understand. I want to see if either of these fine folks want to pop in say some stuff talk about their run a little bit we could have both of them in that would be awesome i'm sure they w would not be upset to do so so arc is down he says give me a few minutes break though How arc is down do great um basically what i want to do is just have him unmute us say, and we'll unmute him and yeah i'll tell him exactly that chat. got to mute again for my uh, vicious keyboard <laughs> so vicious I'm going to stop my timer. Actually, I'll let it keep going because we I might just throw a few other people on the screen. Um actually I'm, and yeah, I mean between the two the two racers, um yeah, it, it was an excellent race, Gerard, for sure. Um the let's see, what was the time difference? Less than a minute. And the race is still going. This is it's very important. Um and yeah, Sonic's an incredible player. To, yeah. For him to get third is, is certainly not out of the norm. No. Good stuff from you. Sonic is a is such such a great runner. Um, Absolutely. Jaina finished at 124.18. Leaky just finished with a wow. 124.33. A lot of really oh, great runners PB just finishing up. Is that a PB for Leaky? That's awesome. Yeah, he had 124.5x before. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, geez. <laughs> Arcanox got caught up on the uh, on the Atom platform there. Forgot they didn't have to stop. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, they're used to all bosses, correct? I think so, yeah. And uh, Ark will be joining us very soon, I believe. Okay. He's yep. said he's good to go. That's great. Uh, I'm going you? to unmute Hello. him. Um, hey, I just un uh, Ark Candy's here now. Uh, B Dog, oh, nice. here as well. Hi, can yep. you hear me? Yes, two. I can hear you both. Maroof, I think, yep, is nice. still unmuting. Okay, I hear Ark, and now there we go. What's up, guys? Good race. Yeah, that was an awesome race. Yeah, was... So nice and clean. We got a one nineteen. Went pretty well overall. 
Yeah. So, where, what were you? What were you asking before, Maruf? There was a question that you had asked that I was only half paying attention to. Um, I I don't remember honestly. I, I want to know how these players feel. Yeah. So something about go ahead. So, Arcandy, what what do you think? Where do you think your 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 strongest spot in the run was tonight? Strongest part. Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> Stay positive, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, my, my mid game was pretty decent. I got a good flash shift section, bombs first try. Yeah. Um, yellow I mean, was pretty good. Frenia, uh robot was pretty good too. Actually, it was all right. Yeah, yeah. I think the mid game was just pretty good. Late game, I messed up a lot. There were and a mid game is normally your weakness, right? So that's, yeah, that's, that's true. Down. Yeah. It definitely you- not an easy section of the game. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Maruf. No, no, no problem. I actually had a random question. So we're doing not normal mode, but rookie mode here. Um, and I noticed a couple things you guys did. You grabbed the 10 pack leading into the red teleporter before grade. Uh, you always got the two, the four compulsory missiles. And then you guys like tried to skip both 10 packs on gravity, right? Was that was that your intent, B-Dog? You, you seemed to grab one by accident. Uh, I, I grabbed one on on purpose. On purpose, okay. Is you Because you kind of jumped over it at first instead of spin falling into it. Okay, so you had 58 and Ark had 48. So based on how you guys played, like, what do you think is the proper number? Is it 48 or 58? I mean, I, I, I was fine with 48. 48 is probably the way to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, I, 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 sorry, I was able to do everything. No, I, was fine. I was able to do everything just fine with 48 missiles. I mean, this is the first race I've done or first run I've done in rookie mode. So I kind of had to adapt stuff a bit on the right. fly. But yeah, I figured skipping some of the missile tanks would be a nice time save. So yeah, I purposely tried to avoid the gravity suit once. I almost picked up one, but still managed to back it up. That makes a lot of nice. sense. We were we were definitely speculating about that a little bit because um, when when uh, in in right before the Berenia bot speed dog, when you dropped into that um, that ten pack, it it really looked like you were about to space jump like right yeah. above it, and it was like, oh shit, was that on purpose or not? We don't really know. And then we had yeah. this whole conversation about the missiles and everything. So, what made you make that decision? If if you don't mind my asking. I thought I had 58 before going to that point. I looked at my missile count and I was like, oh, I don't. <laughs> you wanted 58. You okay. wanted 58 off rip. It's now, like a double that, accident. Is that for, because I we noticed as well that, um, Ark, you ran out of missiles on, um, was it phase two of Ravenbeak, right? Yeah, but you cleaned it up with just shots. Yeah, yeah and it was, it was a pretty quick cleanup. Was that the thought that you had, B-Dog, for 58? Uh, for 48. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah because... I've practiced doing cross bombs in between the ice cream shots for the wall straps, but yep. I'm not good at it yet. That makes sense. Ideally, you would do that. Not an easy thing to do for sure. Oh yeah, so when he dives into the wall, you you place a cross, right? Yeah, but you were okay. placing two, right? Is, is what it was, or just the one after he hits the wall, like on the recovery? Uh, no, no, you would hit, you would do it like when he's flying towards the wall, so that right. he doesn't hit you. Oh, so you're ducked on the ground. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw you go for that, I think, once towards the end of the fight, and I saw you place one before he hit the wall, and then I thought I saw you place another one after he hit the wall during the recovery. Double cross. Which is so sick. (laughs) Adds just a ton of damage onto an already damage-intensive fight. Yeah, it's certainly a tough fight. I can't believe I missed gold skip. Oh, I, dude. The chat kind of exploded with uh, Rip B Dog. No. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, no. So, you know, it does suck, but it, it happens, you know? Yeah. So. Hey, at uh, least you didn't die to, to Raven Beak. I'm sure you're very sick of that by now. Uh, definitely. I don't think anybody <laughs> is ever happy about dying to Raven Beak, for sure. No, sir. Especially when you have to freaking space jump over him and he. He just drifts into you as you're placing a cross. That, that's really fun. Yeah. I spent 35 minutes on Ravenbeak last night. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> 15 before I went and got back, went and got space jump. But um, so I have another question related to rookie mode. How do you guys feel about two tank in rookie mode? Uh, it, it, it it feels really good. I mean, in normal mode, we're we're already doing two tanks, and it yeah. it works fine. You, you can you can uh, like boost a lot in bosses. Yeah, but in this mode, uh, for instance, in Elon uh, versus the the Chosen Warrior, I was able to tank three hits, whereas in normal I probably would have died. 
Mm. And also, my fight with Golzun was pretty bad, and I still didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you screw attacked the, the, the core. Yeah, what was the I deal with screw attacking the core X? Was that an experiment on the fly mid race? No, that was just me messing up my influence. <laughs> it, it looked like it, yeah. yeah. Dude, uh, B-Dog, you probably didn't see, but he had 11 health at Golzuna at the end. Yeah, I saw that. I, I looked over oh, you're on the tele- saw the entire track. thing. That was <laughs> horrifying. You gave all of us like a small heart attack when we saw you screw Hello. attack into that car. Yeah. I, I got to get so my blood pressure check after that one. It was <laughs> sorry, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Just don't let it happen again. All right. Like, but it was sorry. it was hype. It makes gotcha, for good gotcha. content. That's it. Does it does make for the, a sick the, moment? The of the the water skip almost dies to Golzuna headlines right there. Right. Exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> Just clickbait, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get uh, get them views, dude. Yes, some of the views. You're getting tons of views, by the way. I've seen your channel. Kind of popping right. off. Thanks, dude. Looks like it's just an observation. The race just is fun. kind of wrapping up here, which is which is a, a cool thing. Um, you guys have been awesome. Thanks for popping in to chat with us after the race here. Um, it was. A, you know, do you want to talk about your run a bit? Because I don't think you got a chance. Once, oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. Bad stuff. B dog. Oh, <laughs> me. Uh, yeah. Man, it it's hard for me to think about the run right now, but I do remember several points where I was disappointed. Mm-hmm. I would say the best part was the the Ferenia, the last trip to Ferenia. It was very good. Oh yeah, I don't think I made long any real mistakes there. All sorts of good movement. That shit was so clean. And the the one thing I will point quick out kill is on well, the quick kill on SQ was great. The um the speed keep uh upon entering Daron the second time, like where you came down the elevator and did that the morph ball speed keep there. That was oh, yeah, you got that. <laughs> that was so nice. How much yeah, time the- do you think that saves from the flesh shifts? Uh, like half a second. <laughs> hey, that's worth it if you can. Significant. Be you are. <laughs> so the hardest part is the first jump. To be honest, once you understand uh, the wall jumps, it's it makes sense. Easy. I would imagine like spacing, that spacing that jump has got to be tough. Like getting the right arc and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Because you barely have enough uh, platform to like get it out right. Yeah, and, and you also have to full jump because otherwise you won't fall fast enough. <laughs> Oh, ah, that makes sense because you won't hit terminal velocity and all that. It makes a lot of sense. Dang. So, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, would you guys have preferred to play normal mode for this race? Hmm. You know what? Uh, I, I was I thinking, know. well, well it's normal, but uh, after my Corpius fight, I'm glad we did Rookie. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Uh, I also saw B Dog got the. Head glitch and didn't even go to phase three. That was that was yeah. something. Very cool to see that. And that was really good. So yeah, and I didn't even beat my best cloak time with that. I was. Well, I saw you got in the fir- in phase one. Yeah. You got locked out of damage because you got caught on the wrong side of the tail at one point. Yeah. Right in the beginning, I, I was just like, oh, oh fuck, yeah. that was so much time he just lost there. That That's sucks. Um, do you guys think that rookie mode's gonna supplant normal? Do you think? Do you think normal's dead? Mm, I don't at the top level. I don't think it will. Yeah. But maybe for mid level or newer runners, it might become the favored mode. Makes sense. Yeah. Corpius being less especially difficult. For NMG. Yeah. Yeah. For NMG especially for anything with with cloak first, Corpius with no charge beam and all that. It, it's it's going to be the preferred, I think. So absolutely. So, yeah. Uh, kind of to just go off that question. Do you two in particular plan to just do normal mode for your main, you know, record attempts? Yeah, I think I'll keep doing normal mode until I get sick of it. Makes sense. <laughs> Mark, how about you? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't thought too much about it. Uh, I guess I'll keep doing normal for now. I'm just used to doing normal. I don't have any issues with it, but I, I can see the appeal of doing rookie mode and making um, Corpus first a bit easier. Yeah. yeah, makes a lot of sense. And what... and. Now I have another question to piggyback off of that. What are your guys' initial thoughts on number one, dread mode, and by extension, speed running dread mode, and which category do you think will be the most oh either enjoyable or, 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 or 
what's the best category and we all know what the worst category is but what's what's the worst category you think for beat for for dread mode huh? for dread mode, for dread yeah. mode yeah. yeah the worst category probably glitchless all bosses or glitchless 100 percent yeah. yeah or uh, i was thinking minimal items or whatever it is yeah, oh that yeah that's fun. that would be awful i think hundo would be the worst category Oh, Hundo. Yeah. Two hours on a permit, like one shot. Uh, two, two, hours. two hours without getting low oh, code. Imagine yeah. spending all that time to get those energy tanks just to get slapped by some fucking stinky poop juice in Frozen Artaria. Yeah, for real. It must be a lot of, a lot of like, super stressful to play, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, even if you have all your powers, it's like, what are you going to do? Power bomb every room or something? Yes. <laughs> That's actually yes. a good idea, Maru. <laughs> just, yeah, the fear strats. Never not power bomb fear strats. Yeah. Um, it, it, getting sub two dread mode, hundred percent. I think that would be quite the feat, and it's a nice time. Yeah, that would be difficult for sure. <laughs> the amount of hours you'd have to sink in would just be absolutely it, a, atrocious. Yeah. yeah. If you die in cleanup, you lose minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't get yeah. checkpoints except in Emmy zones, maybe. You don't get checkpoints in everywhere except Artaria because. It's, oh, a, it's, it's only... actually a glitch, the way that works. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, you, got, you got checkpointed on Artaria. That's right. Wow. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, okay, it is Hundo. <laughs> Hundo's the worst. I Concurrent. thought it would be Hundo. I'm glad I was right. <laughs> yeah, and, and Catarus is like six minutes long, so Ooh, you're wow. just at the constant best. fear in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to powerbomb every room. I'm the, excited. The, the Varia run is bad enough. Let's not compound it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? This is just a six-minute variant. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think that's where I'm going to call the stream. Thank you guys for stopping in to chat with us um, after the race. Uh, it's been great to have you. Thanks for entertaining and humoring us uh, with yep. with our questions and whatnot. Uh, yeah, you guys are both amazing players, as you know. And yeah, you guys crushed to have, it. have, like, two of the best, not just NMG runners, but Dread runners, like, period, going head-to-head. It was fun. It was really exciting and had lots of cool moments. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to commentate the race. So great, great job, guys. GG's. Um, I'm going to mute Thank everybody you. back up and uh, close this out. Yeah. Anyway, good, good job on the commentary as well, guys. Thanks. Right, yeah. Appreciate it. A lot of fun. Appreciate it. See you guys. Bye-bye. All righty. So I think that's going to be where we're going to call it for the evening, at least for me. Um, but yeah, this is what, this was definitely a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun to commentate next week as well. Um, yeah. But yeah. Oh yeah, true. It will be all bosses glitchless next Not time. all bosses. Any percent. Oh, any, any percent, percent glitchless? glitchless. Yeah. Rain was oh. really pushing for any percent glitchless and now he can't even run it, which really sucks. It's just oh, really... That'll be interesting. But it's... A, I kind of want to do it, but it's so unestablished of a run. It's I'd a very... There's, there's more runs out there. I, you know, we can we can probably put it to a vote about whether or not we're going to do uh, all bosses or any percent. But yeah. I would love to commentate all bosses glitchless because <laughs> obvious sure. reasons, you know. Yeah. But That's your bread and butter, man. That's it, man. That's it. But yeah, um, I think that's going to be it. I'm going to close out the stream and it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. That was a good time. It's a lot of hype moments and that's what I like to see. Yeah. So any of y'all who are enjoying this, who are not part of the, who are in my stream, who are not part of the dread community, um, I'm going to be streaming this stuff again next week, uh, Thursday, 9 PM Eastern time. Make sure you come by and hang out. It'll be a lot of fun. Yep. Till then catch y'all motherfuckers later.